On Dewey Festival got started on an idea that one of our community members had in 1972. Uh, the first festival was held in October of 1972 and uh, due to its great success uh, the fire department actually took over it the following year um, and held it for a fundraising event and um, since then the, the festival has taken over hands a couple um, you know a couple times and it has changed locations a couple times um, but after 41 years we still have the Undewey Festival. The parish currently um, manage and coordinates the festival along with um, other volunteers who help in coordination of all of our food vendors and craft vendors and all of the events that take place and it is held at the St. John Community Center and Highway 51 Park um, and this year it will be held on October 17th through 19th. It's lots of fun. We have lots of great food, music. We have a, a tent that's uh, specifically for our kids. So we have activities just for them. We have a gospel tent. Um, it's our third annual uh, gospel tent event. And we have uh, church groups from throughout the area that will perform. And of course, we have great music. We have music for everyone. We have Zodico. We have rock. We have country. And, uh, you know, the, the best thing, you know, for our kids anyway, are all the games, the rides. And for most people, though, it's the foods and, and the crafts. Andouille is a so so type of sausage that's made with very uh, uh, lean pork. Uh, it's smoked in a smokehouse and has very, uh, I guess, specific spices. And we use it in gumbos and jambalayas and beans. We sell it uh, on a stick, you know, corn dog uh, andouille. Uh, we have andouille pizza. It's just a very flavorful meat that uh, makes us in St. John, the Andouille capital of the world. So if you're not familiar with it, please stop by, get some. Once you taste it, you'll never stop using it. It is absolutely delicious. So what is the Jazz Brunch? Well, the Jazz Brunch is one of our annual events where we have lots of sponsors, lots of residents, and just wonderful music where we enjoy great food with lots of Andouille dishes and just a variety of things that, you know, everybody enjoys to get their day started correctly. What's your favorite part of the Andouille Festival? Well, I end up shopping at every booth, um, and I do taste a lot of the food, so I can be the food critic, and when people ask what's good, I think what they found out is they can go to any one of our booths and get something absolutely delicious. So we ask them to stay all day because you can't eat it all at one time, but if you stay long enough, you'll get to try you know, many of the dishes that are being prepared. Um, obviously, as I said, our craft uh, vendors are excellent, You know, great shopping. There's some home things, lots of jewelry, um, kids' clothes, bows, uh, soaps, and and uh, perfumes and just something for everyone and it's the weather's absolutely beautiful the grounds are are, are amazing um, it's kind of close-knit you know it's for family fun and you know it's safe so everything's kind of enclosed and you know we just encourage people to come out and enjoy what St. John has to offer because we think it's a lot. We bring our unique uh, flavor and food to life. We have different booths that where people can sample our undui. Uh, we also have great music and great people where we can bring our community together. I have competed in a pageant so I will be traveling the state going to different pageants and festivals and balls. Um, I will be going on November 1st to my first ball at Plaquemines Orange Festival. Uh, I will also be competing in Louisiana Fairs and Festivals Queen of Queens in February where I will compete with all the other festival queens for the state title. We will be having the baby pageant from 0 to 12. We have in the younger divisions um, Miss and Master and they will compete and walk around the festival and support us. What have you enjoyed about the Andouille Festival so far? I enjoy the food, the festivities, all the warm welcome from the people, the good food, the fair, um, come, the communities, they're, they're very well people, like they treat you good, they speak well to you, they treat, they're more, like I say, everybody knows everybody, it's, it's more like home. People come, they spend money, like they're, they're well mannered, more people disrespectful in different places, here everybody, they're calm, like they're cool. We make homemade, um Homemade necklaces, earrings, bracelets. It's with my mother, my 80-year-old mom, has set and she helps us do it. So it's kind of a family thing that we've been doing. The food, the food and the music has been fabulous. It's, it's I, I don't live in, in Louisiana anymore, so the food has been incredible. And so this has music. What's your favorite thing to eat? The gumbo, Wayne Jacobs gumbo. I'm from here originally, but I moved to Utah two years ago. So when I come home, I try to get as much as I can. And 
this is perfect because I get a little bit of everything that I've missed. I get it all in one shot. So my sister who does all the pottery, she does all of it by hand. Every single piece is cut by hand and every bit of it's rolled out. And um, she's she's really the creative one in the family, you know, and she puts a lot of work and a lot of thought into the things that she does. And she sells a lot of things around the state. She actually um, started the oysters like this and the, a lot of different projects that people copy in the city. So it's, it's kind of cool. What's your favorite thing about the Andouille Festival? The food and the music. Louisiana food's the best. Every year we've been invited for the last three years to come out and sing some gospel songs to uh, the group out here. We got invited a couple years ago by somebody who was uh, on the board for this uh, Undoe Festival. She had been in our church, she heard us, and uh, she asked us if we would be interested in coming out. And uh, we said yes, and we've been here ever since. I enjoy seeing the people enjoy it, and I enjoy singing. I've been with the choir for over 30 years, and I really enjoy what we do. We bring a message, a spiritual message to people, and that's what we enjoy about it. Everybody who hears us, we always get asked back, so that tells me a lot about what we do. And what's your favorite thing about the Andouille Festival itself? I guess I would say the food, because there's such a great variety. What's your favorite food here? I love gumbo. Love, love, love gumbo. <laughs> I love singing gospel music. I've been doing it for over 30 years, so I enjoy coming out here and singing. We've been doing this for the past three years. We've been invited to this festival, and each year it has grown uh, larger and larger. We really enjoy what we're doing. We're a gospel choir, although we're Catholic, we're known as Our Lady of Grace Gospel Choir, and we've had the opportunity to go to sing in various places in and out of the state of Louisiana as, as well as in Mississippi. Um, we do Life in the Spirit seminars. We've done anniversaries, birthdays, funerals, you name it. What do you like about the festival itself? Well, I love the food. When you walk onto the grounds, you have all kinds of aromas that you're smelling. So it's just a matter of trying to decide what you're going to eat first. What would you tell people about the Undoe Festival? That it's one of the best family-oriented places to go with your kids and have a great time and have good food, good music and it comes every year. What's your favorite food that they have here? Well, it was always the seafood pasta, but today they have shrimp tacos. What's your favorite thing about the Andouille Festival so far? The food. What's your favorite thing to eat? The Andouille corn dog. What would you tell your friends if they asked you about the Andouille Festival? I would say it's really fun because they have a lot of rides and they have delicious food. Um, so far, everything seems to be a great success. Friday night, we had our dollar night where we gave back a canned goods to the St. John Ministry of Care for every festival goer who came. And we have uh, counted for over 3,000 people that came to the festival on Friday night. Um, on Saturday, we had beautiful weather. We couldn't have asked for better weather. And we know um, preliminarily that our sales have doubled from last year. Next year's dates are October 16th, 17th, and 18th. It's always the third weekend in October. You can visit OndueeFestival.com or stay tuned for any type of press releases that come out of St. John Parish's Communications Department. Um, what's your favorite part of the festival? Um, I think my favorite part so far was the dollar night. Um, to give back to the residents of St. John Parish through the St. John Ministry of Care. Um, it was really nice to see how many people came out in support of that and brought their canned goods. Um, you know, everyone wants to give back in this time, in this season of the year. So it was really nice that so many people did so. Are y'all going to do that again next year? I think so. You know, and look for uh, new additions next year as well. We may try to grow it some other type of way to give back to the community. I mean, it's great atmosphere, great people, great food, fantastic music. Uh, a nice time to meet and socialize with your neighbors who you may not get to see on a daily basis, but you can all come together at the festival and uh, sit down and have a good time. What's your favorite thing about the Undoe Festival? My favorite thing would have to be the good music. We definitely have great bands this year. We have fun dancing and just everybody comes together and has a good time. 
people that haven't been here, they really need to come. The, the vendors have been great, the rides for the kids, the music is incredible, and the food is, is, is some of the best food, seafood that we've had, that I've had. And I did grow up here, so I could use, I do know that, but. Uh, I'd just like to say that today is a beautiful day. And uh, anyone who ever had an opportunity to come out to this festival, if they ever came once, I guarantee you they'll come back again because the atmosphere is very wholesome, the food is great, and today the weather is, is, is awesome. Well, we want to say we think this has been one of our best festivals yet. You know, the weather's been absolutely beautiful. We had a great crowd on Friday night, a great crowd last night. And we know the music is a draw, the fun activities are a draw, and of course the food. And I think once people start to come out to our festival, they won't want to miss it. And we're just glad that you all are here making sure that we can record this. And uh, we look forward to next year's festival being even bigger and better. If you want to become a part of the Andui Festival, how would you do that? Well, you can look for our applications to become online around July of next year. Um, we're hoping to have everything in place and ready by July, uh, by August. So if you want to become a food vendor, an arts and crafts vendor, or a festival sponsor, um, please keep in touch with our website or our communications department for St. John, and we should have applications ready to be given out to the public by July. And if anybody has any inquiries about this year's festival or next year's festival, they can, inf they can email us at info at or call 985 652 and we hope that you all come out and have a smoking good time with us again next year.